à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage 2 ESR, décollage Trajectoire nominale. Europe's new rocket. Pilotage calme, trajectoire nominale. Ariane 6 has left the pad and is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. The range operations manager is telling us that everything is going according to plan. Tina. And I didn't know my heart can bump so fast. <laughs> oh my God. Projector nominal, pilotage calme. We're rumbling now. And Jupiter too. We hear her. It's quite a sight. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is happening. It's the most incredible feeling we have. Uh, we're on the edge of tears here in the in the commentary box because this is a big day and a big moment. Trajectoire nominal. Actually, the building's rumbling around us now. And look at look. These are the live images from the from the cameras on board. We're looking at the booster. We're looking down. We're looking down. Uh, one of the two boosters. We can see the flames coming out of that booster because, of course, Ils the boosters. Par la station de Saint Jean, propulsion nominal. Boosters are doing all the work. He's telling us that everything is going according to plan and everything is nominal. And look at the visibility. We might even be able to see this operation. Nominal. We have clear skies tonight, to this afternoon. We had rain all day, but the clouds parted. The two dots there, the boosters. There, we see them falling off. Separation des USR. Confirmed. We have booster separation. So, wow, that's the first clapping here that we see. Uh, what a beautiful liftoff. And our cameras we on see board. Nominal, trajectoire nominal. These oh. pictures are coming in with a 20 seconds delay, which is why we have them now. Look at this, how they fall off. Wow. Amazing, amazing. So these boosters, they have transported us 60 kilometers high. <laughs> and we can oh. see that dot is the... Nominal. ...telling us that the trajectory is normal, everything going according to plan. That's the engine on the main stage that you can see there. And we've got a camera inside now. What are we looking at here, Tina? Oh, yeah, looking so back down this, at the Earth. This was actually a camera inside the interstage, so we will be able to see when the lower stage separates. That's coming up. But now we have actually lost half our mass already because the boosters have burned almost 300 tons of fuel in two minutes. Pilotage calm, trajectoire nominal. Everything nominal, and as we're the getting operations manager says. Yes, and we're getting close now to the next thing, which will be the jettisoning of the fairing, the fairing being the nose cone of the launch vehicle, uh, which is where the Passengers are sitting. Oh, Separation see. de la coiffe. You even see the... Wow, that's amazing. We had confirmation there that the fairing has been jettisoned. Yes, so the fairing that was protecting our spacecraft uh, withstands all the pressure and the heat. And uh, once we stuck out the nose out of the atmosphere, we didn't need her anymore. And it has been jettisoned. So what we're looking at now is the main stage, which is what we're burning and on the right hand of the screen. Us, and this is the live camera from orbit, and we see the <laughs> fairing falling off there. And Amazing pictures. You see how it twists? I believe, Tina, that I'm right in saying that's nominal, propulsion nominal. Exactly. And we also see on the screen, on the right side, actually, the telemetry. So on the top, you see the trajectory. Um, so in, in green, the planned trajectory, and in yellow, um, the actual flight trajectory, everything going nominal. So you have uh, altitude over time, 
And in the middle, you see our ground track. You see exactly where we are over the Earth. And on the right side, you see our altitude. We're already in 140 kilometers. Trajectoire nominal, il reste moins de 3 minutes de propulsion du Vulcan. 2.4 kilometers per second. And the main stage is, uh, is operating. It is. And you can see it here. It's a great big tank of fuel. Indeed. So it is a 32 meter uh, high um, cylinder, uh, weighs 23 tons when it's empty, and it can carry 154 tons of cryogenic propellant, supporting the upper stage and the boosters. Uh, for our technical audience, we don't have any common bulkhead anymore, so uh, we have now two separate tanks. And this makes the handling of the pressures a bit easier than on Ariane 5. And it's burning a very powerful nominal, trajectoire conforme à l'attendu. He's telling us that the nominal. trajectory is normal. Exactly. Yeah, Vulcan engine uh, is now simplified, uh, mainly for cost reduction reasons with regard to Ariane 5. The nozzle manufacturing is completely different, and uh, the gas generator is made of additive manufacturing. And the Vulcan has a new challenge. Vulcan. Telling us that there's two minutes left of propulsion on the Vulcan engine. Mm -hmm. So the Vulcan engine has a new challenge because the booster plumes impact uh, at liftoff, uh, they are actually so high that um, the thermal protection around the nozzle actually had to be uh, beefed up a bit, and we have tiles now around the nozzle, and the nozzle itself also has a new manufacturing method. So, it's it's a more uh, simple and cost-effective design right now. We're getting closer now to the next phase, which is switching off the engine and jettisoning the main stage, because of course we want to lose each section of the rocket as we climb higher. The uh, lighter we are, the faster we go. So we're separating the next stage, but that's actually quite a complex process, isn't it? Indeed, because you have to detect first that uh, the rocket is actually ready for separation. This is done by the guidance algorithm. And afterwards, uh, the Vulcan engine is cut off. And six seconds later only, we will see separation of the stage initiated by pyro commands. And uh, we do that um, by actually extending a set of springs and uh, the push that the lower stage does to get rid of uh, the upper stage, or the other way around, to push itself uh, away from the upper stage, has the same uh, push or the same uh, thrust, as we call it, as the Vinci engine, but it only does that during 0 0.2 seconds. Getting close now to what we call Miko main engine cutoff that's coming up in a few seconds. Fin de mission sauvegarde. Telling us that the safety uh, mission here at the, the Space Center is now finished. We should be seeing something Extinction du moteur Vulcan. We have confirmation that Vulcan has switched off. Separation LLPM. And the lower stage has separated, so he gets these informations before we can see them on the screen. So... Allumage du moteur Vinci. And Vinci has ignited. Wow, that's a very, very, very important moment of this mission. Congrats to Bremen and to Belmont. And we have applause Everyone's here. Everyone's clapping here in Jupiter. Yep, happy faces. The upper As stage... You can see the lower stage... Propulsion nominal. They are on the cameras. Wow. Will we see the Vinci engine also? Firing up. I don't know if that's if that can be seen on the camera. Wow, this is uh, really something. We can see it. Look, look, look. You see the color changing on the Vinci engine? Yep. As it's heating up. Beautiful. And you can see that we're actually up there right now. So you can see that we lifted off from the pad here at the Guiana Space Center, heading northeast. Our altitude three hundred nominal. Traveling at nearly four kilometers a second, propulsion normal. And look at that, Tina, the curvature of the Earth with the Vinci engine burning away. Allumage, APU. And here we hear calling out that the APU, a new feature actually on the uh, Vinci, uh, on the upper stage of Ariane 6, has also switched on. So there's a lot of good news coming in here, because the big innovation actually of Ariane 6 is, of course, the reignitable Vinci engine. It can switch on and switch off, and it does that by the help of the APU. We'll talk more about the APU later. So both are running as planned. We are now in our first uh, 
Vinci burn phase and we will uh, reignite the Vinci engine twice in this mission. A big shout out here for the Franco-German cooperation. The upper stage is designed and built by Iron Group in Bremen in Germany and the engine was designed in Vernon in France and the whole stage has been put under test in Lamprotshausen uh, on a brand new test bench designed by the German space agency, the DLR. And uh, that's that, nominal, that was, uh, an, an immense effort, immense team effort to get this uh, test done. So the 